local for you. NBC4 Midday starts now. So last week we talked about high speed rail and commuter transit in central Ohio and how some of our suburbs and the mid Ohio Regional Planning Commission are preparing. As promised, we are back this week to talk about a timetable for this long time dream as well as reaction from the community on how they feel about it possibly becoming a reality. Columbus is the largest region in the country that is not served by a light rail system, some sort of mass transit or passenger rail. But hopefully not for much longer. Morpsey Board of Directors Chair Chris Amorose Groom says federal money and local desire are the key catalysts. What we're seeing now is the business community is very excited about this. The governor and all of his folks down at the state house have been lining up to support this initiative too. I think the other thing is that the federal money that's out there is an unprecedented amount of money. That money coming from the December announcement that the U.S. Department of Transportation's Federal Railroad Administration selected four routes in Ohio, Cleveland, Columbus, Dayton, and Cincinnati as priorities for Amtrak expansion and provided half a million dollars to each corridor for planning purposes, really stirring up excitement in Central Ohio residents. So it'd be really nice to, you know, be able to just hop on a train. It's a high speed line too, so it's like what one hour to one hour to get to Cleveland. So that'd be really nice. I lived in New York for a while and we had that train. I loved it. Going to college, you don't always want to have a car. And I think a lot of students, especially those that are like living in dorms and in their first two years, like choose not to have a car for that reason. So this will definitely help a lot um, with getting like from home to school and back. Okay, so when? The estimates right now are that the trains would probably start rolling somewhere in 2028. Now, of course, there's a lot of steps between now and then, but just think four years, it's an election cycle. Four years ago was COVID lockdown. Four years can really fly by, so hopefully we can get patient and wait for this, and we'll, of course, keep you updated every step of the way.